students and we have our teachers from Penns Grove High School in Salem County, New Jersey. They just got in the classroom to show our students go head to head with their favorite all-time teachers and Jersey showed up to support them. Look at this. It's winner take all today on those cash and bragging rights. But to meet our contestants, we're going to start off with a little pop quiz. Let's go. Pop quiz, always get nervous, but we're starting the show with it, so let's do it. Teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer if you get the question wrong. Contestant from the other side can buzz in, steal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. In baseball, what is the term for when a batter hits the ball out of the outfield on the fly in fair territory? Kyle. Home run. Home run. Off to a great start. Two lines that intersect at a right angle are called what? Kyle again. Perpendicular. Good. What is the name of the dog who lives with the Griffin family and family guy? Brian. Coach Emil. Brian is right. In mythology, a centaur has the upper body of a human and the lower body of what animal? Andrew. A horse. Good. Central and peripheral are the two divisions of what system of the body? Gavin. Sorry. Say again. Eyesight. Sorry, it's teachers for the steal. Eyesight. Mr. T. Eyesight. Nervous system is what we're looking for there. Halsey and Khalid collaborated on the song East Side with what producer songwriter? And that's a stumper. We're looking for Benny Blanco. Sparta and Athens were two powerful city states in what ancient European country? Kyle. Greece. Greece is right. What objects are orbiting the sun in the space between Mars and Jupiter? Mr. T. Asteroids. Asteroids is right. What is the name of the main villain, also known as King Koopa in the video game series Super Mario Brothers? Bowser. Bowser's right. Always scared of that guy. What is the capital of Arizona? Coach Emil. Phoenix. Phoenix is right. What is the first and last name of the author of Moby Dick? Coach Owl. Herman Manville. Say it again. Herman Manville. Incorrect. Students for the steal. <laughs> Not a fan of Moby Dick. <laughs> Guys, Melville. Herman Melville. And that is going to be it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. Students in the lead right now, 50 points on the board. Nice start from them to the teachers, 30. And we're off to a great start. Man, do we have a show for you guys today. We have the students and teachers from Penns Grove High School in Carney's Point, New Jersey, home of the Red Devils. We got to meet some of these Red Devils right now. Kyle, good to see you, sir. How are you? Welcome to the classroom. I'm all right. How are you? Big, I'm awesome, man. I'm <laughs> pumped you guys are here. You guys off to a great start there. Big money on the line today. Not just money, but bragging rights against those teachers over there. So if you win the 500, where's that going to go? Uh, it's going to go to our academic league for new buzzers because uh, our JV one's broke. <laughs> so what happens? You guys just put your hands up really fast like, I got it. We just clap. <laughs> clap? All right, nice. Well, hopefully you win 500. You guys get those new buzzers. You had a great start, man, but not only are you good at trivia, but you've also been to me like the Finding Nemo of your school. Tell us what that's all about. Um, I was a state champion for swimming in Delaware for three, about three years. For like, well, you casually say that, like that's not <laughs> a big deal. It's like, yeah, for like, <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, like three years I crushed everybody else in swimming. <laughs> what, what style of swim? Uh, freestyle, backstroke, and relay races. Well, I'm a, uh, I'm like what you like to call a doggy paddler, and I will doggy paddle the heck out of you anytime okay. you want. So rock and roll. Gavin, 11th grader, man, you got, you, you said, I'm smarter than all the seniors, I'm coming on the show, and you're not only good at, at this, but you're also good at something else. You get home, what's the first thing you're doing? I go on my Xbox. Right, like every other good 11th grader around here, right? What games you playing, anything crazy? Call of Duty and Fortnite, pretty much. Andrew, my man, all the way at the end. Dude, hitting home runs right off the start here. 12th grader, and that you're known as the denim dude around school. Tell me what that's all about. Well, I'm pretty much known for wearing jeans pretty much every day. Heat or freeze, 
I always got the denim on. All right, well, what are you wearing today? The world wants to know. Uh, should I step out and show them? Uh, yeah. What, I, they're shorts, aren't they? Yeah, it's denim, of course. <laughs> of course. You're not known as the denim dude around school and then now rocking the denim on the show, right? Guys, rock and roll today. Good luck, man. <laughs> Mrs. Cerrito, we have three great kids over there, three awesome teachers here today. You're a 14 years history teacher, 500 if you guys win it. Where's that going to go? to Future Educators of America. Oh, nice. What's that all about? It's a club that encourages students to get involved in education. Love that. Let's go. Let's get more teachers out there. All right, so you're known as a great teacher around school and doing what in your off time? Um, I do construction with my husband. We flip houses. That's crazy. So you're going in there, you're knocking down walls, you're rebuilding <laughs> stuff. This is the coolest thing about, if you guys follow her on Instagram, she wears a pink belt, right? And you got a pink toolkit? Yes. You got to look pink awesome. <laughs> pink, and you're just doing your thing? Yes. By the way, I also have a pink belt, so girl, we <laughs> twinning. I love that. <laughs> All right, Coach Emil, my dude, 11 years you've been teaching history at this school. It's good to see you. And you go by coach because you coach the football team. He had a decent season at best. What happened? Uh, we were the first 13-0 team in South Jersey history this past season. To do what? And you guys won? Uh, we won the uh, South Central Group 1 Bowl Championship in New Jersey. That's unbelievable. State champions? Coach Apple. My man, I'm pumped for you guys. <laughs> Mr. T. T. Fenn Taller is yes. your name. Mr. T. Fenn Taller. How do you deal with that in class? They call him Mr. T, by the way. Well, they only have to say the whole name if they get in trouble. That's it. Yeah. Aside from that, You're punished. T. Say my name. Yeah. T. Fenn Taller. That's a, lot, that's a lot of letters. What are we talking? Like over 12 letters there. 13, last I counted. Yeah, all right. And you got an eye for the camera? Uh, yeah, I do photography on the side and graphic arts. And oh, cool. Like Anything in particular you love to photograph? Uh, I used to work at a camp, so doing a picture of the kids and the joy they get was probably the most rewarding. So the candid stuff? Yes. Awesome, man. Well, that's great. Guys, it's so good to see you. We have three awesome teachers, three great kids. I can't wait to see who's going to detention first. That's where we're headed. T. Fenn Taller. We're going to see how many times I can say that today. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. We have the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But be careful, because if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody from the other side to detention is going to bank 40 points. So teachers, we're going to start with you. We're going to go category here. First ladies. Okay. We're going to pass. Strategy coming into play. I heard there's no way they get this right. We're going to see how they do here. <laughs> Jacqueline Onassis has been previously married to which U.S. president? I know it, John. John F. Kennedy. Wow! Yep, they said it. You send it to us because we're going to get it right. Teachers, the strategy came back to bite you, but I love that you guys tried to put it back on them. So, guys, the great news you get to send one of them to detention. Who's going? It's going to be T. Mr. T. Fentaller <laughs> headed to detention. Take all those letters with you. <laughs> I've never been happier to get somebody out of the game only because I just don't want to keep saying his name. My jaw's getting tired. <laughs> All right, students, categories on you guys because you just got that last one correct. Math. We're taking it. Andrew's smiling like I've never seen him smile before. So the smile you put, you put a new pair of denims on him, all right? Every day. All right, how many numbers between 1 and 10 are square numbers or perfect squares? are one, four, and nine. They were ripping those. I have no idea how you did it, but you guys rocked it. Gavin, nicely done. I saw you take the charge on that one. Guys, and you're in charge of this game as well. So who's going to go between these two teachers over here? We're taking Cereal out. Cereal out of the game, leaving Coach Evel in the mix. <laughs> Mrs. Serena, long walk to detention. Did you get a lot of those in high school? Never. No, nope, she should not answer. She should put her head down and kept going. All right, Coach Emil, you are the last one standing for the teachers. Don't worry, you get three straight. You're in the mix. Category is animals. 
Uh, I'll play. What kind of animal did Pavlov use in his experiments about conditioning? Dog. Dog is right and said it with confidence. All right, you're staying in the game, my friend. You have three students right here. Who's going to detention? Kyle is going to detention. Kyle out of the game. <laughs> Kyle, that's so polite, man. You go to detention, you wish him luck, you shake some hands. I love that. All right, guys, category's back on you. You get this right, you win the game. Category's television. You ever see it? Yeah, we'll take, take it. Oh, uh, you're going to take it. What popular TV series features characters named Michael Scott, Jim Halpert, and Dwight Schrute? I don't know. Uh, all right, Seinfeld? <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked. Incorrect. We're looking for The Office. That's my all-time favorite uh, show besides this one right here. You guys aren't Dwight Schrute fans? No. Well, that's going to that's gonna send you to detention, one of you. All right, Coach Emma, who's going? Let's send Gavin. Gavin out of the game, leaving Andrew to himself. <laughs> Detention's full, which means it's down to one person aside as we get into category. Coach Emil, this is for your chance on a big comeback. You've already won a state championship. Can you win <laughs> the round? U.S. states, do you want to pass or play? I'm going to play. What is the only U.S. state with only one syllable? Uh, Maine. Maine is right, and wow, he's done it. The guy knows how to win, folks. And he just won the round, bringing the teacher score up to 70 points. <laughs> Students with 50. Teachers are flooding out of attention. But we want you guys to come back. We're going to see which team has better spelling skills right after the break. Today we have students and teachers from Penns Grove High School in Salem County, New Jersey. They're battling out. And the score is tight. 70 points for the teachers, 50 points for the student. There's still plenty of time left in this game for anyone to win. So let's get right back into it with some spell check. Okay, you guys know how this game works. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you are out. If your team eliminates everybody from the other side, you're going to win 30 points for the round. If the clock runs out, each player left standing is going to get 10 points for their team. Kai, I see you smiling. You're so ready for this. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> okay, two minutes on the clock. Teachers, your first word. Time starts now. Shelf. S H E L F. Breaks the ice. Alarm. A L A R M. Taboo. T A B O O. Venom. V E N O M. <clears throat> Beige. B E I G E. Good. Lying. L Y I N G. Good job. Devout. D E V O U T. Contrary. C O N T R O A. Sorry, bud. Flexible. Flexible. F L E X I B L E. Manifesto. M A N I F E S T O. Good job, Gavin. Transient. T R A N. S I E N T. Good. Pastrami. <laughs> P E S. That's an A. Sorry, guys. Down to Gavin. You're our last student standing here. Ominous. O M I N O U S. Teachers stay perfect going into that next round here. Skirmish. S C R S K, which means teachers are banking those 30 points. Look at that score up to 100 on the day. Yeah, picture day is next, so keep on smiling. We'll be right back. Today we have students versus teachers from Penns Grove High School in Salem County. I've made my way out of the audience because I just found Mia, my number one fan. Am I right, Mia? 
That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. We got the Red Devils here. We got teachers and students right now in the mix. 100 points, teachers on the board to the students' 50. The Red Devils feeling it. You feeling good today? Mia, who's got the win? Does it? By the way, this is, this is Coach Emil's daughter right here. State champion and a proud father of one. Come on, guys, give it up for him as we get right back into picture day. Okay, teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we're going to move three more of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture, is going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, be careful. The other side can buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Here's your first. He was friends with famous boxer Muhammad Ali. Moving into clue number two, three more boxes. He challenged the mainstream civil rights movement in the 1960s. Coach Emil. Who is Malcolm X? Is that Malcolm X? It's exactly who it is. Nicely done, Coach. We're going to keep smiling right into picture number two. This person likes to work out. It's a tough picture right there. Tough picture. One second. Clue number two, she became a mom in 2018. Finally, clue number three, she was married to NBA player Lamar Odom until 2016. Coach Emil. Who is Kourtney Kardashian? Is that Kourtney Kardashian? <laughs> Students, for the steal. Buzz in if you know. Oddly enough, Kyle, Gavin, Andrew, I didn't think you would know this one. Chloe Kardashian is who we we're looking for. Chloe Kardashian. There she is. Rocking that heck of a hairdo there. All right, we're smiling right into picture number three. Here's our final picture. This group of actors work on a TV show that is based on a comic book series. Clue number two. There are currently nine seasons on this AMC show. Gavin. The Walking Dead. Is that The Walking Dead? It's exactly who that is. Nicely done, Gavin. Broke the ice for you guys in that final picture, so that's great. Bringing you up to 60 points for the game. Teachers up to 110 points. We've been cramming for this all semester. Both teams have a shot to win this thing because it's time for the final exam. Okay, the topic of today's final exam is America's hat, a.k.a. Canada. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points for the bottom line. Teams, you're going to work together. Write down, your, write down your answers during the commercial break. Not quite yet, so chalkboards can stay down. Let's hear these questions first. The first question of the final exam, besides English, what is Canada's other official language? Question number two, Canadian actor Stephen Amell plays the character of Oliver Queen, a vigilante superhero, on what TV show? Question number three, here's your final one. What two colors make up the Canadian flag? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it and come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. We're gonna see which team aces this final exam and ranks first right here in the classroom. Hey, you guys want a piece of the show? I want you here. You're officially invited. Here's how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Penns Grove High School going head to head. The scores are tight right now. Teachers 110. They might be leading now to the students 60, but who knows what's going to happen as we head into the final exam. Before the break, we learned that our final exam topic is the country of Canada. So don't forget, guys, each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points for your score. So let's see who aces their final exam and take that money back to their school. Students, we're going to start with you on question number one. Besides English, what is Canada's other official language? Andrew, you said? French. French is going to bank you 100 points, give you guys the lead here. <laughs> to our teachers, you guys said to fire right back. 
French. French is right. So we got 100 on each side. You guys are staying perfect to the final exam here. Right into question number two. Canadian actor Stephen Amell plays the character of Oliver Queen, a vigilante superhero, on what TV show? Students, you got a TV show wrong in the, in the early on the show in the office, but did you get this TV show right? Let's find out. Arrow. Which is 100 points. You got that one. That's bigger points there. So teachers, you guys are saying? Arrow. Arrow. They got it right as well. <laughs> Moving into question number three, it all comes down to this. Students, you have to get this right to stay in the game. What two colors make up the Canadian flag? You said red and white. Red and white's going to do it for 100 points. You got to hope these three history teachers have never opened a textbook. What two colors make up the Canadian flag? Teachers, red and white. They did it. They beat the students 410 to 360. Come on out, everybody. $500 is going back to their school for the teachers and an awesome cause. I want to thank you guys for being here today. Hope you enjoyed another great episode of The Classroom. We're going to see you guys next time. No buzzers, no buzzers, no buzzers. We're gonna have to